hello everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to make a checkerboard and I've seen actually I had this idea and then it's like everybody everybody was they were popping up everywhere I seen them in a magazine I seen them on YouTube from years ago but I decided to make my own uh, pattern style which I'm assuming is like most of the others which I mean a checkerboard is pretty basic um, so anyways to do that I made I cut a couple of strips that are two inches wide by the width of the fabric. I'm really not sure how long I cut, I think, two of them from the whole fabric. And I sewed them together. And then I just cut them. I lay them up this two-inch line right here just because that's the one that landed there. I could do any of them. Uh, and I lined up the diagonal or the stitch line and the edge here. And I just cut them apart. And I really only need three more. I already did most of them. We're going to make four patches. And we're going to make two, four, six. Wait a minute. Four, 12, 16 four patches. That's what we're making. And then I've, I've seen a lot of people sew them into strips. But me, like to cut the strips and then cut it in half and sew them together again. And cut it in half and sew them together again. And that'll get you your checkerboard, but I don't like working with those big, long strips. I like doing four patches. So we're making, I've made, if you count these, I've made 16 four patches. So let's sew these up. Now I do have a new microphone. Um, I'm testing it out, really. I think it works, but I'm not sure how well it'll work when I'm at the sewing machine. So I may talk a little bit on this video just to test that out. Um, or maybe I just won't talk at all. We'll see how it goes. But we're going to go over here and we're going to just stitch these up. Pretty simple. Again, I made 16 of these. I already sewed, have sewn most of them up because it's all the same. I assume if you're watching me, you've either done it a while or you're learning. So I still did a couple. But I didn't want to do them all. Sorry, I cut those apart. Oh, that camera angle is not very good, is it? Well, we'll try to fix it in a minute. Where's my mouse? Okay, so now um, this is one I already did. We're going to lay it to the side. Let me get my other one. I need that. So these are my two I just have sewn up. And we're going to turn these four patches into two by two by four patches. So just like that. That's how they're going to look. So let me make sure I'm getting this right. So I want my bottom one here to be red. So I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to fold this down and I'm going to sew these together. I'm not going to take you with me. I'm just going to sew that real quick. Okay, so then what you would have ended up with is uh, four, no, eight pieces that look like this. So then we're going to turn them into these uh, these patches. I don't have my words. Let's iron that back the other way so they nest. What is this, a 16 patch? Let's go with that. You also could just cut all the little blocks separately and sew them together one at a time. If you do that, good luck. I commend you on it. No thank you. I'd rather not have one. Let's iron this one back the other way also. The only problem with doing it this way, if you do just the strips, your seams are always going to match up. This one, they do not. So I'm going to turn this into this. I'm going to sew it up. I'll take you with me. You can watch me run that stitch. That up and line it up. This is not perfect, and this is not based on any. Well, I mean, it's based on a check, so I guess it's based on that person's design. But honestly, I measured the squares, I kind of did what I wanted, and 
that's that. So now this will be half my checker. This piece right here is a quarter of the checkerboard. This together is half. So we're going to bend, fold this over. They do go opposites. Occasionally I get lucky. Let's pin this one. I do pin all these little seams. They don't always match up, but I pin them all. And we're going to turn this into this. Oh my gosh, you're not even watching. I'm so sorry. So I took, I just pinned these two together. And now we're going to sew that together and then we're going to have two of this. So I'm going to switch cameras again. Sorry about that. This camera switching thing is new to me still. I'm going to take you with me this time. You're welcome. So now we're going to iron it open and I'm just going to fold this over and this one goes to that way. So I'm going to iron this one this way. And again, it's just a checkerboard. It's just a game. If it was, well, I lie. I still wouldn't worry about so much of it, but it's meant to be played with. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to pin up these seams. Then I got two ways to make checkers. Well, have checkers. One is just already done. So I like it, but it might be more expensive. So I'm going to show you another way to maybe do a cheaper version, a less expensive version. And they can be decorative. The ones that are already done are just going to be whatever colors you get. All right, so let's go ahead and sew this up. all my other half square triangles where I would have them in here. I don't have another project going yet. I have a lot more I'm working on uh, for the channel. Also, I'm thinking about offering printable versions. Of course, it'd be more work, so I would have to charge a little bit for it. Uh, let me know if that's something y'all are interested in. I'm not sure. I hate to ask people to pay, but if I'm going to be doing more work, you know, I'm going to need... You know, whatever, you know. So now my border, I chose this. Uh, I had it left over from the table topper. I'm making this, although this, if you did a green border, Christmas right there. Uh, but we're doing patriotic. So I just cut the strips off uh, the, the width of the fabric, or width that was left with at least this much. So we're going to pin two of these. And I'm not going to be all that perfect about it. We're just going to pin it down on this side. And then pin some one down on this side. And the reason I'm doing it in the middle is because of this strip is because I don't, I don't have an actual straight edge. I just cut, well I do, but it's this salvage over here. So I don't want the salvage on there. So I'll just go over and then I'll trim it off. And well, that's how I like to do stuff anyway. All right, so now we're just gonna go over and we're gonna sew a stitch down each of them. All right. We are gonna have to, well, let's just raise the needle, whatever. Just make sure you start far enough back that it gets the checkerboard. Make sure it's in there. We're just going to spin it like this. 
needles up. We're going to make sure we start before the checkerboard so we're sure to get it. going to be doing the same thing again. All right, let's cut it apart up here with my threads. Now, what we're going to do is before we iron it, we're going to come right here. Let's move these. I have cut through numerous pieces in my time. We don't want to do that. Slice it off, so go for either the crumb quilt or the pillow. Probably the crumb quilt because it's a pretty nice size. Get that back out of there. We'll set it to the side. Now, one more. Line it up with your straight edge. All right. Move those to the crumb box. Iron these open. It's a little over on this side, but ask me if it'll hurt it. I thought this was fitting. I have a picnic to go to on Sunday, and I thought, I will make a checkerboard. We'll play games. All right, so hopefully, yep, I had enough that it was... It was good there. I am going to cut off this salvage on this one so I can start with a fresh edge. I'm going to line up the straight line there on the side. Oh, you got to open that, you guys. It's a new one. My husband got me that one for Mother's Day. Now we're just going to pin it to the edge. And then we just have to, I have my backing picked out. We just have to trim it down. It's also from that bundle because I did have other uh, amounts. Other bundles. That's what they're called. I had extra bundles. We're going to do this side too. And this one I'll just do straight quilting down through each one of these lines. Blocks, squares. I already made one of these, you know, my test one. And I actually went, um, I started in the corner and I went down and over and up and just back and forth like that. And then when I got to here, I did it the same way, back and forth. And then when I got um, to the upper right or upper corner, I went all the way around the the edge again even though I'd already done it I just thought it couldn't hurt and I wanted to so now I don't have to use the or raise the needle We're just going to pull it around and sew down this way. If you're not comfortable with that, by all means, don't do it. But then I am going to cut it apart now because there's no need. How's that angle? Is that camera working good? tell you I'm thinking about doing on the back I'm thinking about cutting out a tic-tac-toe board out of vinyl with my Cricut 
and using it for another game because then the buttons we're making we're using whatever we're we're gonna do will be used for both so you can have two games in one I don't know if I'll get that done before this picnic but maybe Plus the back fabric is going to have a design on it. So I don't know. I like it. What do y'all think? I think I like it. So I'm going to use the scraps of the leftover bundle for the checkers. For the one set of checkers. This is going to be my back. Oh my god did it again. I'm so sorry. There it is. I'm so sorry. I like that border. So I'm going to use, this is my back. Um, I was torn between that one and this one, but I might use this one for checkers. So this one won out. So to do that, I'll just trim it down. Let me move this. Where that came from. I will just take this and lay it down. Maybe I'll use this. It might not be big enough. I might have to. Do oh, it is. So I'm going to lay it down with just one inch. I could measure, which, you know, it's a great tool. But I'm just going to lay it with one inch on each side of it, give or take. Let me fold this up because it's already there. And then I'm going to just cut it right there and then I'll cut my batting out and I'll, I'll obviously place it in the middle there and we'll quilt that now what I think I'm going to do is get black vinyl and do a tic-tac-toe board although I really like this I don't know if I want to I mean I want to but also do I Okay, so give me one second for uh, checkers. So this is option number one. These are, I think, two fifty for six at Walmart. You would need two packs of each, so you would you would spend ten dollars for these. They glide real smooth over the the paper or the board. They are great. I do like them. However, this is another option. These are cover buttons. I got this pack of 25, so it's going to take all these pretty much, all but one. I got them for, hmm, I want to say $12. So really, maybe $10. It really is about the same. It's about the same. It's just whatever you want because this one I can take. Let me find what I'm doing. I'm going to use this color. Oh, those are too similar. Maybe this one. I don't know. We're just going to show you on this one. Maybe I'll just use regular colors. Maybe not patterned. So what you do is you take this. You could also, if you have a Cricut, you could just put in the, the size of that. It's, it's one and a half inches. So you can put it in a one and a half inch circle and you're done. Have your Cricut cut them all out. But if you're wanting to do it this way or if you're wanting to fussy cut them and have different pictures on the front of each one, you're going to do it this way. Where are my scissors? You're going to do it this way. So we're just going to cut this circle. And it absolutely does not have to be perfect. This will use up fabric scraps too if you wanted to do that. Maybe this is a pack of 50. I'm not sure how many cover buttons are in this pack. I bought two, so I don't know. So here is one option. What you're going to do is you're going to take this. This come with it. If you order the right one, the tool comes with it. Then you can just order refills. And you're going to push that in there. Since it's all going to be the same for me, I don't have to worry about making it straight. If you have a design... 
you're going to want to make sure the design's in the center. So you can just pop that right back out and just try it again if you want to line it up and make a, see, it, if, make it where the, the front is exactly what you want, you go ahead and do that. This one, these have flat backs. If you're ordering, make sure you get the ones with flat backs. You're just going to put this one in there. And really, you could pop it in pretty easily, but you just use this pink tool and it pops. I don't know if you heard that or not, but there it is. So I'll just make 12 of this one. And I don't know what design I'm going to pick for the other one. Actually, I might do this one too. Those are pretty uh, dominant. Let's do one of that one. Let's get this. I don't know. I don't have enough. Well, I do have a scrap of fabric that I can do it with. So again, we're just going to trace it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. If it had to be perfect, I wouldn't be making them. Because I don't do perfect. So we're just going to cut that out as best we can. Again, I feel like it would be more work to have the Cricut do it, so I just do it this way. You're going to lay this in the deep side of that. You could fussy cut that if you wanted. Mine's going to come out straight across that, which I like. But if you wanted more blue, by all means, get more blue. Make sure it's all folded in. Lay that in there. And it really, it already snapped in, but we're just going to use that just to... Get a little extra in there. So there you have it. Those will be my checkers, which are pretty cool. So let's move those out of the way. Let me show you. Obviously, I only have the two, but it'd be like that right there. And they'd probably glide pretty smooth once it's quilted and everything. I like it. Let me know what you think. If you make it, please post pictures. Uh, I love to see them. And I will see y'all next time. You have a great day.